Welcome back to Data Cloud Now. We are exploring all things manufacturing, and I'm delighted to be joined by Auntie and Greg from Salida, joining us all the way from Hanover, Germany at Hanover Messe. Gentlemen, great to have you on the program. To start with, Auntie, Salita has over 1,600 experts across Europe. What trends in the manufacturing space are you noticing? That's a good question, technically. So if you think about the manufacturing business in, businesses in large, the recent years haven't been actually the easiest ones. The post-COVID era caused significant challenges over the supply chains. Of course, the green, green or climate change and concerns related to the kind of environmental impact of manufacturing businesses is, is a big thing now. Uh, it's but also particularly in, in Europe, we are seeing uh, things where, where the recent geopolitical changes have impacted companies, also driving them towards higher level of resiliency in their operations. But in general, if I would summarize the big things, uh, what we are seeing from our customer base, mostly consisting of uh, asset intensive process industries, and this creates heavy machinery OEMs, for example. Uh, decarbonization and electrification is a big thing. Of course, sustainability goals and objectives are driving the innovation. Also, inducing com com completely new needs for data capabilities in the organizations. Similarly, there is a, let's say, component shortage challenges uh, and, and uh, challenges in, in, in the global supply chain has resulted companies to reconsider the way how they set up their supply chains and the whole value creation ecosystem through the com uh, through the partner companies and uh, counterparts they are dealing with. So these perhaps are the biggest things what we are seeing in a, in a let's say, global scale from a, a mega trend point of view. If you think about the big thing why we are here, here as well and uh, what, what this fair is, you know, trade show is all about, technically, uh, digitalization of, of uh, industry. And that's, of course, a big thing, uh, impacting the way how companies create value to their customers, but also impacting the ways how companies or organizations operate from their own internal point of view. Um, from intelligent equipment uh, manufacturer's point of view, it's clear that uh, software-defined features, intelligent capabilities built into the, to the physical products are, are the key element providing common, completely new experiences to the owners, operators and end customers of the, of the solutions companies produce. Uh, then the second topic, which is perhaps one of the key, key topic and key theme of the whole manufacturing data cloud, is the IT and OT convergence. Nothing new, everyone has spoken about it for, for years already, but now things are truly starting to be realized. The, the industrial automation, production technologies, operational technologies are being converged, converged and aligned with the common practices, technologies and approaches uh, adopted from the IT world. And that's super interesting topic uh, in general. Uh, we are seeing also in this trade show here completely new kinds of players like Snowflake this year. Super fascinating to be here to go together with you guys. You know, it's great to have your macro perspective onto there. Greg, I want to pull this back to Salita and really dive in to your agile data engine. Can you explain the solution for the audience watching and what have been the key takeaways? Sure, I'd love to. So Agile Data, data Engine is a data ops cloud, which is uh, designed for for the, uh, the design and deployment of the data warehouses in, in, an, in the enterprises. Uh, it enables organizations to, to implement the enterprise lifecycle management. Uh, so the, the tool itself, uh, uh, it has a, a few uh, components, uh, one of which is the um, the data modeling, which is the main uh, part of it. Then uh, workflow orchestration uh, with uh, some advanced features uh, and automatic generation of the workflows and management of those. Uh, then the embedded uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment, uh, which enable easy 
promotions and uh, control over the environment. And then there are some uh, advanced uh, capabilities when it comes to monitoring and testing. And uh, it is uh, possible to connect Agile, Agile Data Engine to other applications in, uh, in the organization with, an, with the APIs. And Agile Data Engine helps uh, scale organizations. It helps with the uh, multi-domain and multi-user uh, implementations. It makes them easy. And um, that's, uh, well, in, in, in a very short, the, uh, the, that's what Agile Data Engine does. Well, gentlemen, an exciting next chapter. You know, it's clearly all happening at Hanover Mesa right now. You know, Auntie, from your perspective, how can the audience learn more about Solita? Learning from Solita, the best way is to, of course, visit our website, solita.fi, and uh, get familiar with the, with the company itself. We do also have a dedicated website for the Agile Data Engine, uh, opening more, more the key characteristics, features, and functionalities of the solution. Gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on Data Cloud now. I'm Ryan Green for the audience watching. I'll see you soon.